Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be setting up a brand new 3DS emulator for iOS devices, which does not require any sort of side loading. Very easy to set up, and you can emulate your favorite 3DS games on your iOS devices completely offline in just few steps. Now, the emulator that we'll be using in today's video is officially available on the App Store. It is known as the Zone 3DS, a brand new 3DS emulator for Android devices. Though I'll be talking about its best settings, gameplay, as well as setup. Along with that, I'll be talking about some pros cons as well as minimum requirements so let's take a look at this emulator it was released few days ago and it is basically an all-in-one emulator with support for nintendo 3ds nintendo ds game boy advance game boy color super nintendo as well as nes it comes with console skins it also requires ios 15 or above it doesn't matter what iphone you might have it just needs ios 15 or above but it is generally recommended that you have at least iphone 12 series or above to emulate 3ds games with decent fps with that being said let's talk about about the first con which might not actually be a con but this is an emulator from a Chinese developer and I don't think we should judge it from that we can judge it from the performance of the emulator and if it requires some additional permissions which none of the other apps actually require so once you add the zone 3ds emulator on your iPhone simply tap on the open button afterwards you will see the boot up screen now the UI of this emulator is pretty amazing you can see there is also VIP lifetime subscription of this emulator which is actually free so currently it says that the normal version does does not have game state cheat code as well as game boost features so let me just go ahead and get this now that is completed you guys can see we have the plus version of this emulator now and we can simply tap on the settings button so here you don't really get much of the settings and the first thing that you'll need to do is import your console games inside this emulator once again nds 3ds game boy advance game boy color nes as well as super nintendo games are supported so what we'll do is tap on start import afterwards you'll need to select the 3ds game that you want to play for example here I have selected Pokemon X 3DS game and once I tapped on it it automatically loaded the cover art of this game and that's about it that's how simple it is our 3DS game has been successfully imported first of all you will need to obviously import 3DS on your iPhone or iPad and then you will need to import it directly inside this simulator once that has been done simply tap on the game and then tap on don't allow and here we can actually change the game settings so let's go to game settings we have three modes balance mode as well as game mode game mode gives you audio priority balance mode gives you frame rate priority so if you want more fps you can scroll down to the max frame rate mode which gives you the best amount of fps possible afterwards you'll need to make sure to enable new 3ds mode and enable accurate shaders if you are facing graphical issues but this will decrease the performance so we'll keep the accurate shader turned off in terms of other options we get language as well as edit cover and enable cheats if we go to enable cheats there are some cheats like 60 fps no outlines etc which provide you with better gameplay experience so we'll just go ahead and enable them so these cheat codes are inbuilt inside this simulator which is pretty good now that we have successfully set up everything let's tap on start game you guys will be able to read that zone emulator is currently under development it is still in its beta version and it might be unstable in few scenarios so you can read the disclaimer afterwards tap on start game once that has been done you guys can see a 3ds ui has launched and our pokemon x has successfully started now you can even change the orientation of our screen and our on-screen touch controls are working properly it even provides you with haptic feedback which personally i I think is actually impressive like haptic feedback is very good so there we go pokemon x has successfully started now judging from the speed that we are getting i think we might be getting around uh, 30 fps at most so we'll just go ahead and tap the A button multiple times. Uh, this does not require JIT support by the way. To emulate 3DS games on your iOS devices, you don't actually need to enable JIT. But however, if you enable JIT, then the performance will be better. Though I'm unsure if this emulator supports JIT. Regardless, you can see we are actually emulating a 3DS game on our iPhone 15 Pro Max so easily. This is the first 3DS emulator that I am trying which does not require any sort of side loading and is completely running proper 3DS games at full resolution without any graphical issues issues now uh, there are no additional settings unlike we saw in other emulators like citrus which is a part of folium though still i am super impressed and happy to finally have a 3ds emulator on our ios devices which is on the app store and is very easy to set up very easy to import games and very easy to start playing user friendliness of this emulator has to be 10 out of 10 you saw for yourself how easy it was but finally let's take a look at the gameplay performance how well will this 3ds game actually work so unfortunately here i am seeing a black screen if we just go ahead and tap on the home button 
you will see we have back to game option we have ability to switch skins as well along with that we have screen layout game mode resolution multiplier has also been provided so if you want to increase or decrease the resolution you can do that too you can swap screens you can go to game settings where game music as well as button vibration can be seen but unfortunately what i am most curious is why hasn't the game started so now guys a quick update the game actually did manage to boot after i disabled the cheat code for outline so here you can see our pokemon x has successfully started on our ios device and we are emulating this game without any issues inside the zone emulator so yes this emulator actually works properly without any issues and it does not have uh, the black screen issue it can have black screen only if you enable cheats that are not supported with the version of the game that you are emulating other than that let's just go ahead and try to leave the house and see how well does our game work and what kind of performance do we get once we exit the house so now the game begins 1x 3ds resolution let's see if it is straight up 30 fps on our iphone 15 pro max and surely guys this is smooth there are some shuttering issues here and there and there is also input delay a very slight input delay but it is indeed noticeable uh, other than that you can see the game is working properly without any issues and definitely the input delay is messing with my head a little bit like just take a look at this uh, there is indeed an input delay but uh, stuttering issues input delays everything is all right the fps is also all right we are getting about 30 fps so definitely you need to have a good iphone if you want to emulate 3ds games on your ios devices that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time goodbye